Boom, what's going on? Aaron Guy out of Battle Ropes Education. So check it out. Today's workout is resetting strength. And you're going to see why in a second. So we're going to do deadlifts in the form of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Right? And we're going to do it for three to six rounds. Then we're going to do front squats. Same thing. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for three to six rounds. Then we're going to do battle rope outside circles with reverse lunges. Battle rope staggered lateral waves. And then steel mace 10 and 2s. Right? Every single one, you're going to do all three to six rounds of each before you move on to the next. And then finally, we've got 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 30 seconds running, rather, 30 seconds walking for 10 rounds. Right? So a little bit, a little bit extra push at the end for, uh, for that resetting of the system. So this is what we're trying to do here. We're trying to increase our lactic threshold. We're trying to increase our strength recovery and we're getting back up after failure. So this is a huge, huge mindset workout. Uh, the difficult part of this workout is, am I going to be able to finish this set? And am I going to be able to finish this set of rounds or these sets, right? This uh, all three or all six uh, sets. Uh, because every single set you should be hitting failure or getting dang close to hitting failure. So uh, first one, right, deadlifts. I'm just going to do barbell deadlifts with a weight that I know I may not be able to finish the 30 seconds on. Right? That's going to actually help with that mindset and help with that reset. As long as I stay quality in my movement the entire time. So deadlift it up. Right? And I'll do my three to six rounds, 30 seconds of each and then get a 30 second break. 30 second break is not gonna be long enough. You're gonna want longer. Uh, that is the point, right? If I can't do it uh, with a barbell, I can do it with kettlebells, um, but here I'm gonna show the front squat, right? So pretty simple. Again, good form, 30 seconds of work, and then we'll take our 30 second break and we'll do three to six rounds of that. All right, now moving into, yeah, we'll shoot it from this way. Boom. A little battle rope action. Oh, this is a second. better angle. All right, from here, I'm gonna do outside circles. Nice and quick, speed is the key, reverse lunges. My goal is to hit failure before the end of that first set, before the end of the 30 seconds. Then I've gotta work on Getting my heart rate down, getting reset biochemically to be able to do that again. I'll do three to six rounds of that. Then I'm going to do a staggered stance. So one foot totally flat, four points, two points in the ball, two points in the heel. Two points in this ball, but this ball is lined up with this heel. This staggered stance is going to be reminiscent of or very like sport and life and any sort of unilateral asymmetrical work that we do to move as humans. And then I'm gonna go short and fast for those lateral waves. That short and fast is gonna bring me to the brink, bring me to failure much faster. And then on that second set, I'm gonna stagger the other way. Short and fast, again, three to six rounds of that. Then we'll move out. We've got a little steel mace in action here. So, in this steel mace, it's 10 and 2, 10, 2, 10, 2, 10, and it should be heavy enough, boom, as you can see, right, it should be heavy enough to give you some work, right, make it a little difficult, help you reach that failure point. Again, failure doesn't mean lack of quality. You're failing with quality. So really good quality, but still hitting failure. And then I don't think I need to walk through how to run and how to walk. Uh, you're gonna go 30 seconds running as hard as you can, right? While still maintaining good form and not tripping and falling. And then 30 seconds of walking, trying to reset, and then hitting that again and again for 10 total rounds. Enjoy, make your next one your best one.